हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिलीजियस प्लूरलिज्म इन इंडिया दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो लेट लेट्स प्रोसीड फॉर द इंडियन सोसाइटी इज कंपोज ऑफ डाइवर्स कल्चर्स एंड पीपल्स लैंग्वेजेस एंड रिलीजन्स डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ रिलीजियस फेस हैव एग्जिस्टेड ओवर ए वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एज इंडिया हैज बिन अ कंट्री ऑफ नॉट ओनली वेरी एंशियंट हिस्ट्री बट ऑल्सो प्लेस where communities from outside continuously continuously kept on coming and settling down together with diverse cultural groups in various religions in india pursuing their faith the immigrant communities also brought their own religious faith custom and culture this resulted in the bringing together people following different religions and gradually laid the basis of religious pluralism in india religious pluralism means unity in diversity for india among people based on their varied kind of religious belief religious pluralism in india has thus two connotations it uh, refers to fact that india has been a land of not only not one but many religions since ancient times second each religion content besides its primarily future primary future which define its essence many uh, cultural social and ritualistic elements which cut across boundaries of different religions religious faith this cultural and social similarity are a product of interaction and accommodation established over a long period of time by regional linguistic ritual and social proximity of various religious groups so we have to remember these terms <coughs> religious pluralism in india is thus not only a fact but it also permeates permeates through beliefs values and social character of individual religions in india over period of time people of various religious faith settled down in india due to commonalities of shared geography common of interdependent economic relationship and shared neighborhood in the rural and urban settlement they developed many common or shared elements of cultural traits belief system despite professing different religions people change their membership from one religion to another due to conversion sometimes forced sometimes voluntary however in most cases they did not shed off all cultural and social practices or even beliefs or values they had held earlier yet their identity yet their identity as a separate religious group was recognized this reinforced religious pluralism in india india is the home of uh, majority of the religions of the world such as hinduism islam christianity buddhism jainism sikhism and so on the state in india has function under the benign guidance and control of religion and religions or even various religions have received patronage and protection from the state during large part of indian history religious pluralism thus key note of indian cultural and religious tolerance is the very foundation of indian secularism indian secularism is based on the belief that all religions are equally good and they that all they all lead to the same goal of realization of god india promises the world's most important religious religion comprising its people india has been a land of diversity of religious communities settled over very period of time hinduism buddhism and jainism has been integral part of india since ancient time islam came to india by 650 ad and spread to the rest part of india similarly christianity came to india many centuries prior to the coming of british or the portuguese zoroastrianism migrated to india 766 ad and after persia was after persia was conquered by the followers of islam they settled down in western india and came to be known as india as parsi judaism came to india around 100 ad sikhism had its origin in india 
another important uh, feature of religious pluralism in india is geographical spread of major religions this led to the large scale interreligious interaction borrowings of ways and style of life sharing common languages and cultural practices across religious affiliation this has led to a diversification of cultural subgroups belonging to each religion for example the andhra muslim and kashmiri muslim in several respect are different cultural communities an important element of pluralism among religions in india is their subdivision into sects and cults which cause interreligious proximity of custom rituals and practices of religions and proximity or religious beliefs across religions so important role of sects and cults here hinduism has always included diverse range of belief system from vedic hinduism of the past puranas dharma shastras and evolve into many sects and tradition for example vaishnavism worship of vishnu and shaivism worship of shiva commitment to ahimsa or non violence of these sects have been very similar to beliefs of non violence and brotherhood in buddhism and jainism similarly sufism in islam established deeper relationship with sikhism bhakti movement in hinduism and with christian forms of mysticism similarly lingayat sects in hinduism established close relationship with christian beliefs many religious movements emerged in india over a period of time based on the beliefs and practices of these sects the bhakti movement particularly drew most from vaishnavism similarly the lingayat movement in karnataka drew its inspiration from shaivism this sects in hinduism promoted diversity and innovation innovativeness among the hindus and also led to the establishment of many linkages with other religion so the important role of sects hinduism being a religion without church established unified actually definition of church is established unified religious organization and system of beliefs and ritual became a way of life so we have to remember the hinduism being a religion without church became a way of life so hinduism is more of a way of life religious pluralism therefore entering to hinduism through multiplicity of sects or also through its normative character hindu religion did not constitute a community in a solidarity sense it remained a tolerant adaptive and liberal religion in india it recognizes and is tolerant of differences so we have to remember this terms islam and christianity also differentiate into many sects buddhism jainism sikhism also divided into several sects for example buddhists have hinayana and mahayana sect division the jains have shwetambara and digambara sect division the differentiation of religion into sect has a deeper impact on the pluralistic nature of religion it marked a departure from the rigidity and orthodoxy of specific religions and endowed them with capacity to innovate and respond to social and historical change in society like sects languages have played a great role in sustaining and strengthening religious pluralism in india india presents a formidable mosaic of linguistic distribution each with individual cultural overtones as a result of this most major religions in india hinduism islam and christianity have their members coming from different linguistic communities people of a linguistic community share many common values cultural style and way of life language not only gives identity to people but also serve as a potent vehicle of cultural expression linguistic variations within the followers of the same religion made it possible for most people in india to take a broader and more liberal view of relationship between religion and social and cultural life there was continual 
continual searing of folk wage styles of life dietary preferences etc across religion this reinforced religious tolerance leading to peaceful coexistence in india so it's all about religious pluralism in india and um, one can add more uh, through going through some articles uh, from internet um, from uh, the hindu one can uh, prefer the articles related to that so it's all about uh, the topic uh, religious uh, pluralism in india thank you very much